Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. And what you're seeing in front of you is a piece of tile. Yes, it's a piece of tile that I have wrapped with freezer paper. The glossy side up. And you just and it's a tile underneath here. And you just cover it up or cover up your tile with the freezer paper. And we are going to get started. We are going to be making fractals. I know. Never heard of it before, maybe. Maybe you're new to alcohol. Um, maybe you're, you're not so new and uh, want to see how I make it. Um, and I also make it this way because I like to make skins out of them. And plus, they're just so much fun to use. <laughs> they really are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put us out a thin layer, hopefully thin. Oop, and then I drip it like I just did. I grab two lids at once instead of one. Well, I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll, guys. Boom, gone. Happy mistake. Trying to get that off my stick so you don't waste any. There we go. And I was going to see if we could just spread it around. It's nice and level, so once I have a nice thick little pillow, I guess it would be called a pillow. Yeah, a pillow. Then we get to play. And we'll need a ball stylus. I figured out the name of the, the name of it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, a ball stylus. I can't even remember now what I was calling it. But uh, I had always used it for with my clay project. So all right, we've got enough paint to put down and grab me a little napkin. I try to Keep it clean as we go along. That way we have more success. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Didn't you guys buy that? Um, let me put the paint away. And our float draw lid is on and away. Okay. And we have got a ball stylus. And I'm going to pick me one with a good size head on it. And they both, there's one. Uh, they both have uh, ends to them, and this one I'm picking because it has a little bigger ball to it. Okay, to make a fractal, it's pretty easy. After you've got the paint laid down, come in with your ball stylus and drop you some ink. And then you'll feed it. You can see the little fractals forming. Let's put another little guy over here. And one over here. So that is a fractal. I don't have it available. This fractal's not doing what it's supposed to do. So I'm going to feed it a little bit. And you want to keep your um, substrate wet with that paint because it will film a covering and stop this, which is why maybe that one stopped. I'm going to feed it again, see what happens. It'll probably find, follow the same path. Aren't these neat? Well, that one isn't working out so neat. Why not? Maybe I need a little more alcohol. That could be it. I just 
built a little terrible. Let's see whether that made a difference or not. A little bit. Yeah. That's prettier, right? Just needed a little more alcohol. We got some. Ooh, that's an interesting one, wasn't it? And this coming in and feeding it pure alcohol to make them even prettier. Now, when you get tired of doing this, which could take quite a while because it's a lot of fun, <laughs> try yourself another color. When you're ready, let them little fractals bloom for you. <laughs> what that one's going to do, it could be surface tension again. You do have to watch out for that. It's going to give it kind of a break up through there. And let's go in with another color. We're going to go in with some of this blue. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Oops, that was my, that was air. I came in sideways. Yep. There we go. There we go. They don't all have to be the same. <laughs> oh, I just love it. Aren't these fun? There's a million things you can do with these. Oh, I need to break the surface tension up there. because it's looking a little like I ain't going anywhere. I had a curiosity. I wondered what it'd be like just to do little dots. Alright, that's a dendro frack before I'm not able to see it, to be able to say it. Isn't that awful? Awful. <laughs> it's a fractal. All right, that's how you do it. It's a shorty. You just put some four parts to one, meaning one being the paint and four being the Aussie flow drop, and gave it a nice, you know, thin, but enough consistency that it isn't running off the your board and all we're doing is making fractals and after this all dries you can there we go sorry I started concentrating on what my fractal wasn't doing <laughs> but you can just uh, have make the lightest uh, pale colors if you want it. Just dilute it more with the alcohol. And then maybe come in the middle. Oh, no, I came in the middle, but I was leaning, wasn't I? Yes, I was. So we're going to see what adding another color in there is like. Or not impressive. All right, there we go. Anybody ask you what one of those, these are, you don't know what to tell them. I can hardly remember it. <laughs> I'm just joking around. But that's a fractal. And as you see, we could, like this one screams to me a flower. Let's just say I had um, available, like just ready just to pick out. Um, we'll just use this. We could, could we can combine that. Let's say. Um, let's see. And make. Uh, well, that didn't work. Stand. 
stems. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. But, yeah, I really don't have the composition set for doing flowers. But anyway, you get the idea. And you can, you know, make them all pretty. Just not wanting to get in there and mess it up. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. All right. Here's a little close up of our dendrite fractals. With that all goofing set aside, um, keep the surface uh, without you know, forming a film, so I always have something ready just to come in and, you know, break that tension up so you, it can take another one. And uh, then, if you just let it dry, you just unwrap your package off of here, and you will get uh, what is called a skin. And I'll show you what that is at another day. For you, a blink. For me, a day. It's got to dry. <laughs>